You know, I picked up this book with a fair bit of apprehension, to be honest, but now I'm happy and relieved to say that it was better than the last one, so this won't be a rant video after all. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, you're with Chris and today I'll be giving my spoiler free review of Crosshairs by James Patterson and James O'Born, published just this month. This is the 16th book in the best-selling Michael Bennett thriller series, and if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I've been quite outspoken about the last book called Obsessed, which was a little bit disappointing for me, to uh, say the least, and I did have a bit of a rant about that because I did pick on the book for not quite being up to standard because I didn't really like it, and it didn't hold my attention and the decisions made by both authors were pretty questionable in my opinion but um, this book uh, Crosshairs is so much better so much so that it held my attention for most of a lazy Sunday afternoon and uh, I read two-thirds of it in one sitting and that's really saying something so I'm really happy about that all right so let's go with what the book is about how I always like to with the cover copy how do you catch a killer who leaves no trace? In New York City, a sniper dubbed the Longshot Killer is taking out impossible targets. Nothing links the victims except the brutal circumstances of their deaths. Detective Michael Bennett quickly develops a profile of the killer, great with a gun, probably ex-military. A profile that his new partner Rob Trilling fits to a terrifying degree. With Trilling taking ever more suspicious absences from duty, Bennett must find out the truth before the long shot killer strikes again. So that premise interested me straight away. Um, haven't actually come across a sniper serial killer in the series before. And what I liked about this was how the plot was done, where how difficult it was to peg down the sniper, given that the victims don't have anything in common other than being shot. And Michael uh, Bennett eventually finds out who the sniper is, but not before there are some dead ends and wrong assumptions. And now, and how the victims end up relating to each other at the end is really, really brilliant and something you would never think of. It's such a minuscule detail that links these uh, people together that you'll never, ever guess. And I think that's what the appeal of the book was. It kept me guessing and challenging me as a reader. Now, complicating things further is Bennett. While initially being impressed by his new partner, Rob Trilling, he's having doubts and being conflicted about his new partner because he... Um, you know, he claims to have these odd appointments and leaves crime scenes without um, any notice. But as time goes on, um, nothing is what it seems, as Bennett is also under extreme pressure from uh, Number One Police Plaza, the NYPD headquarters, to get the sniper before he takes down another victim. Now, I think introducing uh, Rob Trilling as a new character is a really good move for the series, in my opinion, because I enjoyed reading about him. He's only 24. He was an army ranger and already has had a tour in Afghanistan before joining an FBI task force and then being transferred to the emergency response unit of the NYPD as a sniper expert and then ultimately loaned out to Detective Bennett to consult on the sniper killer case. Now, I hope Trilling is a recurring character because um, he has this natural ability to become a good detective. Um, he has that natural ability, and I think he would make an excellent partner for uh, Bennett moving forward in the series. And the way their dynamic plays together is really, really good. They have a really good on-screen chemistry there. Not a romantic thing, of course, but just how they interact with each other. I think Bennett sees him as a worthy protege and is keen to uh, train him up and hopefully we'll see a lot more of him. Uh, Bennett's and Mary Catherine's relationship is flourishing well, especially with something new happening in the works, which I'm not going to spoil here. And there are really nice family moments. They've got 10 adopted kids, and uh, it's always fun to read about, and uh, their family unit is so tight-knit. And uh, always interested in what the kids are up to whenever I read a new book. So 
I enjoyed the book overall. The writing was great. Uh, the procedural methods in bringing the sniper to justice was great and compelling. And I now feel a little bit better about the series moving forward. And I'm just so glad that this book was up to my standards. And I do have pretty high standards, but um, it was a great read and uh, I just had to finish it. And I just kept turning those pages, particularly when the book has that same old James Patterson formula of over 100 uh, chapters. Because they're short, you read a short chapter, if it ends on a cliffhanger, you have no choice but to continue turning those pages until you are done. And uh, as I said earlier, I think the how the case was solved was really compelling and it challenged me as a reader and um, I don't regret picking this one up. Now when I compare it to the last book, which took me four days to read, this one only took a um, you know, uh, a series of hours and I was done and satisfied so uh, very very happy and um, there is no mention of whether there will be another Bennett book this year I have done a bit of research there it's not in the lists yet but that doesn't mean a Bennett book won't come out sometime this year which I'm hopefully looking forward to and hopefully um, Trilling will return in the series because I think partnering Trilling and Bennett together is a really good move because of the age difference. They can both bring different um, uh, facets of expertise to cases and I uh, just can't wait to see if that is the uh, case or not. So there you go guys. Thank you very much for watching my spoiler free review of Crosshairs. Um, it's a little bit of a different review since the last book, I'll, uh, I'll be honest there, but uh, happy face. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll uh, deliver the best content I can. Offer up any feedback as per usual and I would be happy to engage you. But until the next video, guys, happy reading.